Hello everyone, and welcome back to our next episode in Bioshock Infinite, Burial at Sea, Episode 2. Wow, that's becoming quite a mouthful, isn't it? I gotta say, story-wise, this thing is in a pretty interesting situation. We are playing as Elizabeth, but not our Elizabeth. She's dead. We have Booker by our side, but not really Booker. We don't know who that is. And we are kind of going through Rapture City, and Atlas is here. We got one big daddy strolling around the place. I mean, there's just so much chaos at the moment. I love it. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. We're in the process right now trying to grab the three Three pieces needed to repair the Latouse hair machine. We've got two of the three. Now we're going to try to find that old man Winter. But you already know, we ain't going to just fix and get to just put the whole world back together. There's going to be something go wrong. I can't wait to find out. If this is your first time finding the channel, welcome. Hope you have an awesome time. And if you do have an awesome time, I hope you even consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Without any further delay, let's get back in here and see if we can straighten out this mess. All right, everybody. We back. Oh, I'm excited to see where this is going to go. But... <laughs> Just like I said at the end of the last episode. It's all something shiny over here. Oh, it is a recording and a pick. Okay, let's see what this is. So long, suckers. Ryan's minefield is well laid out. Grant him that. Yeah, but what security system made that ain't got a hole or two in it? Mm. If I was taking book down at Fort Frolic, I wouldn't like my odds. If I jig left when I should go right, there ain't gonna be enough bits of me left to set a crab's table. <laughs> he must be referring to those things we see out here. My goodness. Those are enormous. Look, there's big. They're almost as big as these boats right here. <sighs> How'd you like to be a fish or something that accidentally swam into one of those? I feel like there's fish that we've seen swimming around out there that uh, they accidentally bonked it. Uh, we would feel it. Okay, so we have two of the three. So I think now we can kind of backtrack. We need to find old man Winter. I believe was the third piece we need. Oh, here's another one. Florence Baxter. Damn hooligans. They've been sneaking into the repair bay at night, riding around on the hydraulic lifts. <laughs> it's some kind of makeout spot. Oh. Can't exactly blame them. God knows how boring it must be to grow up in Rapture. But their hormones are costing us money, and this isn't an amusement park. I've locked the control room. The code is 7951. There's the code. Well, I ain't gonna run all the way back up there just to put in that code. We found a way back out. What's this up here? Ooh. Oh, had a dollar in it. I thought I found something really good. Okay, now... I'm trying... Oh, here we go. I was like, how did I get in here again? I'm trying to remember. Were there any other passages that I maybe did not explore? Oh. Is this... The, well, hold on. Let's see this. Okay. 7951. Whoop. Uh, 7... 9... Five, one. Nope, this is something different. That's what I was just thinking. I was like, wait a second. Hmm. I can't think. Oh, wait a second. Is this the room? No, this isn't the room we got to from underneath. Well, now I'm really confused. And some ammo. Hmm. I bet that is the control room maybe from the other side? Because I think that's just supposed to open automatically. Oh, wait a minute. No, I didn't go enough. There it is. Okay. Okay, I'm glad I... <laughs> I can only imagine the comments I would have gotten in the, sec in the comment section. Dude, you didn't put the number in right. You walked off, didn't even realize it. I know. Okay, so yeah, that is just the flip side. Of that. Okay, that makes me feel better. Ooh, we got some goodie bags here. Dollar. They are so stingy. As if I haven't said that enough already. I had a tranquilizer gun, but I'm full. Okay, we shall proceed. I'm really enjoying this uh, DLC. 
It's been so much fun. Are there hooks? No, there aren't any hooks here. Uh. Oh! That I didn't expect. How am I supposed to get up to him? I want these scars. Do you know? Anything of that? Like that one? I can win it back. I just got I don't want to lose my darts. Let's uh Let's go this route. Where you at? He likes nice shoes. Oh, he's crawling. Come on, show me that head. These are brand new, huh? Wouldn't want to get in that one. He is messy. I don't even think I can check their bodies from here, can I? Oh, look at that. I gotta be fast. I got my dollar. <laughs> what about this guy? Can I get... Oh. Okay. Well, I'm leaving you behind. I ain't gotta go that way. All right. Proceeding. I don't think Miss... Mr. Freeze. I don't think the freeze thing was supposed to be done there, was it? I must confess, I'm becoming a wee bit skeptical. Remind me, why am I supposed to care? You see, me lads have taken a keen thirst for Adam, and there's a vintage right in front of me that'll do nicely. If oh. you kill her, I truly hope you are happy living down here. Put down roots, raise a family. Or maybe you think Andrew Ryan is going to ride to your rescue. Fair enough. But remember, there are fast ways to harvest little sisters and some very slow ones. Oh. That's not good. That was clearly a threat. Yo! <laughs> Did you shoot yourself? <laughs> I think she shot herself. Yo! Wait a minute, is this a whole new area? I don't remember seeing this hey, app. Come on, oh, it scared me. Right. Eat the apple. <laughs> you pay I must have went up more than one level, maybe? Ooh. Right, um, how about... We'll put this here. And I guess shoot it there. Okay, now let's switch to. Oh, you know what? Let's try this. Oh, it's a knockout gas. Oh, look at that! <laughs> All four of them. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I hear him. Uh, turret. Oh, man. Three out of the four were empty. What a ripoff. Have I complained about them being stingy on their resources enough yet on this one? Okay, yeah, that's the guy that was stabbed. Okay, I remember where we're at now. That was super fun. I'm glad that worked out the way that it did. Okay, now. Uh, whoop. Oh, you're, on, you're right there. Oh, I thought he was it was facing the other direction. Big Daddy's out here. You gotta watch out for it. You still complain about not getting your respect, huh? Okay, let's look here. Check areas where bath spheres were sold. Wait a second. That was more of like a maintenance area. That wasn't where they were sold, is it? Oh, do I need to go back down there? Okay, let's check. Where they were worked on and where they were sold might be two different areas. Okay, we see something up here with a model number there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hit this lady. Bonk! Gotcha! Yeah. Oh, he's down below. He's down below. Okay. My ground is shaking as I'm trying to walk. It's kind of nuts. That says test drives. 
That might be where I need to go. Is that a tape recording we got right here? Oh my goodness, there's a bunch of these guys. Alright, it takes care of you. Got you. Oops. Got you. Oh, there's a whole group of them over there. Where's my... Oh! Oh, baby. Oh! <laughs> Trying to be careful not to hit Big Daddy. Oh, I think I hit him. He turned around. I won't roll over for you. No? There you are. Oh, you rolled over for me. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. Okay, you just stay there, Big Daddy. I ain't got a bone to pick with you right now. You know what? I think that went pretty good. There was like eight people right there total. Let's see if, uh... Let's see if we get any loot out of this deal. Okay, these guys are definitely doing better already. Compared to what we've been getting in the others. Out of darts, though. Ooh, okay, we'll check that here in a second. I want to see what this test drive, if this opens up over here. Welcome mm. to the Do I have any... Two out of four, and I got three picks. Okay, we'll keep with that for now. I had somebody comment saying, I'd never heard that line before. They really liked it. I thought that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, here we go. This might be what we need. Oh, I just realized. I need to switch. That's how we'll call Su Chong's machine. Okay. Uh, I know I heard somebody. I'll be late again. But, but I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Oh, not a mess no more. <laughs> Have a seat. Chill out. You look stressed. Hey, I got my dart back. Here we go. Oh, it's Samantha again. This fella Atlas has been making the rounds down here, trying to bring some kind of order to this pit. All the splicers think the man walks on water. But mm. something about him smells stink to me. Uh -oh. Reminds me a bit of my former employer, Frank Fontaine. Always talking about how he was going to lift Rapture right out of the old man's wallet. No fuss, no muss. See where that got him. <laughs> well, let me tell you. There's a reason he kind of reminds you of that. Man. She's, uh... She's... Uh, the fact that she's able to just sleep is pretty impressive, because she does not look like she's very, uh... She, she looks like she's being in a lot of pain. I'll put it that way. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go. That's good stuff. Alright. We proceed. Oh. Do I gotta know some kind of a password or something to get in here? Yeah? Atlas sent me here for some old man winter. You haven't been around here long, have you? What makes you say that? Because <laughs> eh, you're the only one of us who don't smell like the reptile house at the zoo. <laughs> now be okay. quick about it and just take the winter. This ain't the goodwill. He's gonna let us just go down there and take it? That's impressive. I better not search anything. I bet he gets mad at me if I take something other than just the winter. We're, we're gonna start with that. There we are. I enjoyed this in uh, episode one. Shatter them into a thousand pieces. Ooh, but I do want to switch to this. There we go. Just what we needed. That was the last of it. Now you think you can manage the repair? Sure. I've been fixing quantum field generators since kindergarten. Sweet. Okay, here's another one. Where I shouldn't get in trouble for this. Where about the bitch scientist unknown? Ryan presumes she's dead, but our guess is she's gone underground with the little sisters. 
Are they talking about the lamb? Options on obtaining the ace are dwindling. That's three. Oh, it's so hard not to be looting. I just, I got a feeling I'd get in trouble. I mean, I could take all these guys. Okay, let's see. There was a... Oh! Com... Complaint, man? <laughs> I guess if you have issues, you take it up with this guy? Prisoner Intel Dispatch Number 8. Tell Ryan things are getting hot down here real fast. A goddamn leprechaun is building himself a regular army. If you'd ask my opinion, which you didn't, I'd send a crew down here and clean up the place before they show up on your doorstep. Uh-oh. But who am I except some undercover schmuck you sent to give you straight dope? Uh... So this guy was kind of like undercover for Ryan and they found him. Oh, I don't want to know what they did. Okay. Oh, it's so hard not to be going through here like... Oh! Oh! Won't steal my lead. Oh, it's being taken over by splicers. Okay, well, I'm gonna take stuff now. Clearly, it's not a big deal. Well, if there's anything to be had. There's a sandwich. It's something. Take that pick. Okay. Something about underwear. Boom! Can I smash you? Oh! <laughs> oh! There you go. Okay, I gotta switch to something a little more potent now. But I'll grab these. Oh yeah. I've had it with this insolent behavior. Where are you running? My goodness, she's like zigzagging all over the place. Okay, well that's what you get for that insolent behavior. Okay, oh, what do we got here? Possible targets. Welcome to your new life in Rapture. I thought I heard somebody. We'll grab that here in a second. Cashmere, Arcadia, Neptune's Bounty, Welcome Center. So was this like a, a plan he had for trying to get back up there? Luxury Resort. Huh. Yeah, he was definitely up to something, wasn't he? Felix. <clears throat> so, uh, so Atlas asked me to figure out where to uh, strike first when we bust out of this place, but, you know, it all depends on when we get out. You know, I mean, November 5th, it's a big founding of Rapture Shindig at uh, Fort Frolic. Valentine's Day, you know, I mean, Arcadia is real popular. Uh, I mean, it's near New Year's Eve, then, hey, we could pop the corks off all the stuffed shirts down at the Cashmere restaurant. Man, these people were really planning on getting out of here soon, weren't they? Okay. Ammo! Oh, I can't get anything out of that. All right, well, can't blame them for trying to come up with a strategy. It's not like they wanted to spend the rest of their life down here. Supplies. What else we got? Oh, here's something. Kay Flanagan? Memo to the sales team. While we deny all customer claims regarding purported burns they have received from, quote, overheating of 1958 bathyspheres, unquote, <laughs> our marketing team has decided to give away flasks of Old Man Winter as part of a new promotional campaign. There will be no recall of the 58. No recall. Ah, oh, that's great. So I guess if you're overheating, at least you've got Old Man Winter, you can kind of balance things back out. Is that kind of the idea there? Yo, look, check it out. This is where they were manufacturing the posters. Oh, it's fantastic. Okay. That was fun. We got our old man winter. But, uh... Why do we have to knock to get in if they just were able to just, like, shoot their way in so easily? 
I feel like I had to work a lot harder than I should have. Oh. oh, that was a headshot, dude. Me? Sneak attack. <laughs> Just gotta stand over here in the corner, huh? Okay. Clearly there's others. I gotta remember, I can do this completely for free. If I don't move. I wonder if that means I have to actually have Eve even to be able to do it. Like, if I'm empty... And I do that? Does that count? Oh, wow, there's a bunch of these guys back. Yo, there's... They're everywhere. Okay, we're at least gonna let Big Daddy kind of move out of the way a little bit here. And I've only got one of these darts. I do have a noisemaker. I don't remember where I need to go to try to get back out of here, though. <laughs> Okay, where was... That's it. Done. Wow, they gave up kind of quick on that, didn't they? I'm trying to remember where the... Uh, the It's a restaurant or something I'm looking for, isn't it? Okay. Oh, wrong button. Okay, we got one there. Okay. Uh, that's the lounge. I don't think that's where I need to go. Is it? Manta Ray. I don't think it is. I'm looking for that place. Oh, uh, right there. Silverfin. That's where I need to go, I think. Okay. I think I can whack this guy. If I hit the right button. Ooh, he's only got one bar. Oh. I realized, I was like, he's a big dude. I was like, oh no. There's somebody else coming. Well, it looked clear. Alright, you watch out, big daddy. Look at this guy over here. I did manage to press the C button when making that land. That was hilarious. I shot the guy right in the crotch. Okay. So we got him there. One over there. Big Daddy's kind of close. Let's go ahead and take you out. Uh. Okay, where are you walking? Are you, like, down below now, or are you right below me? Yep. Yeah. I'm like a ninja. <laughs> At least I like to believe I am. Oh, I hear something over there. Okay. I think this is the right place. Oh no, there's people in here again too. No moron. Maybe. Is this the right place? Yeah, here we go. Why is it not on now? Oh no! Where this do I need to pull this out? Okay, put one here. Well, not the perfect phosphor frequency, but it'll do. And then do I just zap this? <sighs> okay, that should stop it from overheating. There, everything's fixed. We're ready. Let's fire it up and see. Where's the lever? Remember, there's a lever somewhere. I'm still a little nervous about this crowbar sitting right in there. If I did everything correctly. All that's left should be pulling the lever at the front of the device. Hey, <laughs> there it said something. What did I tell you? 
Hey! Oh, I actually get to enter! Oh! <laughs> Yay! We are back in Colombia! Did not expect that at all. Booker. Look. You're on the First Lady. The quantum particle. That's what it is. Quantum particle. I, I think I was calling it the pin particle or something. I think that's from a movie. Is the pin particle from a movie? I feel like it is. Can I peek out? Oh, I remember that. Well, what's this thing do? It can't be this easy. The First Lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system just like all the buildings in the city. I read all about it in the Columbian Scientific. The particle seated at the top of the structure must be up that lift. These little animations are so amazing. Perfect. I love those. A lot of technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen, and it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. Oh, I brought the lift down. I can't open these doors now. Okay. This is wild. It feels like a long time ago now when I was here. <laughs> when it wasn't really that long ago. Danger. Risk of death or serious injury. If I take the active particle, then the First Lady is just a 40-ton paperweight. Best to take the spare. The spare? Oh, okay, so we're here to get this so we can take it back to the ra the Rapture City or Fountain's building because we're going to use that to lift the building. Okay, yeah, that... Taking one of those spares would be what we need to move on forward. I was... At first, I was like, wait a second. Why are we... Why are we here again? Okay, we got one here. So that must be the spare. Here we go. Okay. Now let's head back through that tear. You honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal? No, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. That's really cool. So is that the particle up there that we're seeing? The effect of it? That's kind of cool. All right. Going back down. How do you plan on handling Atlas? He ain't just some spliced up maniac. He'll make a mistake. I just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens. All for a girl you barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? Can I go through here now? Nothing but trouble that way. Ah. Uh, straight back to Rapture. Okay, okay. Pretty lady not finished yet. What? Open the tear. Power for devices, very expensive. Need for that? Just tell me what you want. So tell me what something is simple. Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not that your hair, stupid. Think Hodge's cigarette lamp. Mothballed, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra. Then, everybody friends. Where is his lab? <laughs> Closed off, past Fink's quarters. Um, you smart lady, you find Should have seen that one coming. Right? Okay, so I guess we're now looking for a hair. See, I can't help but wonder if... Um... Oh! Vox Populi, we must have arrived right in the middle of the siege. That means the other you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we didn't. <laughs> we won't because we didn't. I see what you're saying there. Can I look out there and see him anywhere? That'd be pretty funny if I could. I think I remember that moment. Yeah, Finks and everything. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I remember this. Had to do it. Okay, what we got here? Iron sides? I don't remember this one. Um. What? I get to keep the ammo? 
Okay, that's kind of cool. I'll at least try... Uh, I mean, what are they, are they going to be shooting me with a gun that I even have? Nah, I think I'm better off with this. That's kind of cool and all, but... Okay, so this leads me back to my thought earlier when I was talking about if all it takes is putting um, a piece of you in a different reality and then closing the door then gives you the ability to make terrors. I'm surprised somebody else didn't do that. And I can't help but think, well, that's pretty cool, that that's what's happened here or is about to happen with this whole hair thing. Anybody around? Okay, I, don't I feel like I'm using the force or something when I do that. <laughs> Up we go. Boink. Okay, uh, I've taken your counsel, and you done me good service, but I will not hurt the boy. I will see Fink and Comstock burn, but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said... And a famous man shall say... I may reach the mountaintop. But I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But... You mean I won't live to see the... No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play? Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play? Or the play itself. Oh. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one. So I was set up to kill her so that I would become the woman that they wanted me to be. What? Where are you? Oh, these are the two. That's Fink and the Sun. Interesting. But it's like, don't they know I'm here crawling through these vents and everything? If they can see all realities as much as Elizabeth could? That's the way it seems to me. This is crazy. It's like I'm I'm in the story that we played earlier. It's, it's kind of like Back to the Future, those movies where uh, he was like running around in different realities where he was also there and seeing things that he had seen before and shouldn't have seen before. And the whole time trying to keep everybody unaware of it. Okay, so we got one... Two. Oh, we got a few over there. Alright, let's do you first. And now you. Oh! It's kind of weird seeing people in these outfits after being in the other area for so long. Okay, what else we got? got? I'm assuming since we got characters that way, that's the direction I need to go. This is so cool. It's actually kind of fun to be back here in Columbia. Just knowing everything that went down. Okay. Uh... Oh! Oh, what? All the other ones got out. That's wrong. They should have all been frozen, but because I shot one... Alright, we'll go with this. All the others got out. Who? Where? Oh, not that one. Oh, you guys down there. Oh, wait, yeah, look at that. She is coming. Okay. Got this. How are you shooting at me? You can't even see me through the wood. At least you shouldn't be able to. Oh, she can smell me. That's how. Okay, she's walking off. I did get that. Okay, I did. I do really like the stealth side of this. It is so much fun. 
Okay. Okay, she's walking off. All right, I think we can go this way first. Boink! Oh, I'm gonna get you. It's nice over here, huh? Oh, just as she jumped, I knocked her off the edge. She's snoozing on the way down. Okay, I thought there was one more. Maybe there was that it, that was it. There's a box on there. Can I get to that? Guess not. That was funny. Oh my god, yeah. Ammo. Okay, I'm looking for a lab and a piece of hair. Yo, check that out. <laughs> okay. That's where I started was on that, right? Oh, can I ride this? Is that... I think that's the vent that I came through when I got here, isn't it? Okay, let's try this. Maybe this is where I need to go. Hop off here. I'm a little confused about where I started and where I need to go. I feel like... Okay, there's the first lady. That is where I started over there. Can I explore this thing? Whoa! <laughs> Looked like he just jumped off. I think he jumped onto one of those, uh... The sky sky lift things. Nope, you go right ahead and do that. I'm lining my pockets with a little loot too. Okay. Does it say in our objective? Find the lab. Uh okay, no, it doesn't really give us a clue as to where the lab is. All right, we're going to just keep going this way, I guess. I guess we're going further into Columbia than I was expecting to. That's why I was getting a little nervous there. Ooh, baby. Money just laying on the ground. I'm all for that. What we got here? Yeah. Oh, boy. Daisy Fitzroy. So that others may live free from the yoke. DeWitt knew the price and paid it willingly. And I sense what the Lutez twins will one day ask of me. So far, their council has served me well. Served the revolution well. If a bullet takes me, so be it. But to offer myself up as a lamb? When I come to my Garden of Gethsemane, will I play my role willingly? Or will I burn the place down to the roots? Now, the way we got to her is we went through a vent on the outside. And then Elizabeth came behind her and stabbed her. If it was supposed to be a setup, why did she put herself in such a corner? I feel like I feel like she would have picked a more open area for us to try to get to her. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Looks like there might be something over here. What we got? Oh, oh, I thought there was something there. Guess not. Uh, nope. Okay. Can we go out this side? I don't think I saw a door on this side, did I? Nope. Alright, we're going back out. What's going on? Little piggy! 
You talking to me? Look at that propeller. That seems so dangerous. Man, what a jump. Ooh. Yeah, there's someone sleep sneaking. Whoops! Well, they know where I'm at now, don't they? But from where? Oh! <laughs> that was hilarious. Here we got something. Collect all the audio diaries. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Change. That's what the people need. But sometimes I feel all I have to offer them is blood and fire. The things they've done to me, I can't forget them. I was Columbia's victim, and victimhood begets shame. Oh, what element of human experience is more corrosive than shame? I'm rotted from the inside out. What do I have to offer this revolution except my own dark motivations? When all is said and done, what's more important to me? The people I want to save are those I want to murder in their beds. Yeah, she was, uh, trying to figure out what she should do. Okay. Man, that, that'd be hard to, to say. It'd be like, hey, you can win, but you gotta die to do it. Wait, have I... I have backtracked all the way to... I made a full circle. Okay. Well, at least I got my bearings back. About where I'm at, where I've been. Okay, we're going through here. We've been up to there now. Is there a way to go straight right here? Looks like there might be. Let's check it. Uh. We're on a we're on a rampage now. Gonna hunt you down. Are ya? That's really awesome. Ah! Oh wait, here's another one. Oh, and here I thought I found them all. Another one by Daisy, wow. Yeah, there's a war coming. You can smell it in the air. Fear, hatred, people dying every day. But how many more will suffer if we rise up? Violence begets violence, I know this. I've seen this. The rational mind argues for a peaceful solution to find a common ground, but what common ground is there to find for a father who watches his child bleed out in the street? How do you deny him his vengeance? I know that fire that burns deep inside. I know it all too well. And when the time comes, will I be able to stay to hand? Hmm. Apparently, I did not find them all. It is kind of cool getting a little bit about Daisy, though, to find out that, well, for one, she wasn't actually going to kill that child. That she was playing her part to make sure everything played out the way it was supposed to. Because I, I thought Daisy was pretty cool up until that time. It's like, oh, come on, Daisy. Wow. Family reduction. Oh, I, I, yeah, I might be covering a little bit. Social involvement, management of medicine, medication, team value. Huh. I recognize that. What would it be kind of crazy? If we did come across the songbird before we got back out of here, huh? Man, check out all the clocks and stuff that are messed up. Yay! We got some more. Uh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, I, I thought there was a person there for a second. What you got? Mm, nope, prices aren't any better over here.
I love the lines they came up with for the little vending machines. Oh, I thought he was lit up. Alright, well, I don't really see anything to collect on this side. Let's check down. Oh, it sounded like a train. Alright. What's the red for? Thought they might have been painting something there for a second. Jeremiah Fink Private Quarters. Yep, this sounds like what we're looking for. Leisure. Prayer. Sleep. <laughs> so... Think. Did he have to label all his areas because he couldn't remember <laughs> what was down it's each of the walls? Oh, that one's all... That's like... Dead bolted. Look at that clock. Oh wow, all three of these. <laughs> they're like, okay, we're gonna put four doors here, but you're gonna have to pick one. And we're gonna make sure you know exactly which one to pick. This thing here? A giant clock. Sort of. Looks like the mechanism oh. unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No, there's a there's a slot for some kind of key for manual winding. I just gotta find that. I love those. Sure seems like They're a lot so of work well done. To lock down a few doors. You know, if there's one thing Fink loves, it's a lot of work. Work harder, not smarter. That's what we like to live by, right? Anybody know people like that? It's like every decision they make. It's like, come on, you could have done that so much easier. Probably even me in some of my videos, right? It's like, oh, dude, come on. Really? That's the, that's the route you chose? The Lazarus Project. Our current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong. And it is not an impossibility. We could instantiate ourselves back in Colombia. Return to an old life for the possibility of creating new. But we died in that world. Returning would mean giving up part of us. Ourselves. We'd become flesh and all that it is heir to. The mysteries of the universe would become once again. Oh. Mysteries. That's like what Elizabeth is experiencing right now. She say we would as uh and it's not impossible we could instant satiate ourselves back in Colombia, return to our old lives for the possibility of creating a new, but we died the in the world. Returning would mean giving up part of us, ourselves. Now I'm assuming she's kind of referring to the fact that she'd be they'd be giving up the ability to dance around all the different universes uh timelines and stuff but i'm trying to think did like elizabeth pinky is back hmm did she, i was trying to think did she accidentally give up something that has caused her to you know lose her ability wow place is falling apart I remember being a part of that. You can hear the clock. I thought I saw something light up over here. I guess not. Okay. The clock key. Anybody out here? No. Nope. Okay. Use clock key. I wonder if I got to do these like in a specific order. Wow. That was intense. What are we going to find down in the prayer room? Nope. Don't want that. This kind of looks like the area that we started a little bit, but it can't be that. We had a bunch of water and stuff. The word of the prophet. What's that say? 
Able Prophet Untold Prophet. Oh my. You give the sales pitch, I'll provide the snake oil. Uh, what's that say? Larchy, you're... You old oyster? Sure to impress the rubes? I don't know. I I don't know what's being said there. It's kind of confusing. Okay. So I guess there's nothing here to collect, so we just check the next room. Uh, somebody out here now? Nope. Okay. What are we going to find in the leisure? Cost evaluation. Why injectables? Drinkable plasmids require 10 times the atom that injectables do. Injectables are the clear economic choice. Repackaging will result in significant atom usage savings. Oh, I see. Because this is where we started. Well, started here in Colombia, but this is what they used in the Bioshock area, isn't it? Because they used injectors over there, didn't they? Okay, let's let's check this out. Okay, I had a feeling this one would be faint. Sea slugs. Goddamn sea slugs. Could that Oriental have come up with a more inconvenient fuel for his plasmids? <laughs> If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins. That's why he's trying to find a cheaper way to get the job done. Size for graveyard shift bar. What? Oh, I remember the graveyard. As to the matter of religion, let me place myself in the camp of the agnostic. I pretend to understand the mysteries of the infinite no more than you, Comstock, or anyone else for that matter. But for the sake of argument, let's say this is all one unhappy accident, and we're all alone in our toils. Then who would Comstock use to control and shame us? with rules that apply only to those without a penny in their pocket. If there were no God, Ew. you could rest assured the first deed done by the first rich man would be inventing him. Oh, man. I think some of those paintings are like actual art paintings. I, a couple of those looked a little bit familiar. I mean, extremely disturbing, don't get me wrong. But I feel like I've seen some of those before. And documentaries or something. Okay. Well, one more. Let's see if we can find a hair. Good. How to get that idiot his lock of hair. Another elevator. Man, we are really going a ways into this place. Better watch it. We are gonna cross paths with ourselves. Hello. I mean, this means we went back in time, though, because Booker's dead. <laughs> right? Listen, I got you your gun. Get for my ass. But my Booker DeWitt died for the Fox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My Booker DeWitt was a hero to the cause. There they are! <laughs> that was super cool. But if they're on their way up, how are we going to get back? Are you there? I miss you. You were the only one who ever... You were my only friend. Booker. I'm not even here. I'm a projection of your own. Could you humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you. 
You know, part of me was wondering during editing the last couple of videos. Part of me wonders if that might be Sh Shuchan. Oh yeah, uh, this would probably be a good spot for a noisemaker. Ooh. Uh, where are all these people at? Oh, there's a turret over there. Uh, I'll tell you what, that might be a good investment right there. Uh, let's go back to here. <laughs> I'm gonna let them destroy that thing. Ah! Or it'll wipe out all my enemies, one of the two. Can I get to you? She's hiding. Oop. Alright. Oh, I shot her with a bell! <laughs> that seems so mean. Oh, okay. Let's just finish her off. I shot her with a bell. It's a way to get a headache, man. All that ringing right in your ear. Oh. Oops. Oh. Well, I'm glad this guy can't seem to hear me as I'm crunching on all this glass. All right, we're getting close to the one hour mark. It just saved right there, but Jesus, it's right in here. Say somebody said something about armored enemies. To clean this mess up. Okay, we'll go this way. Whoop. I see you. And you don't see me. Gotcha! Uh, two over there. One right down there. Ooh, there's a vent over there. I wonder if that takes me down below. It's so much fun trying to do this stealthily. Especially since, like, oh, look, there's this, like, oh, man, okay. We're definitely going to have to come back and look at that. Ooh. Gotcha. Oh, yes, we got. Uh... Wow, they sound so loud. Oh, there's somebody in here. Oh, I can't get in there. I bet I gotta go through a vent. Okay. Well, since we got a minute. Check out that slug. Okay, he's right above me. Wow. Atom extraction. Atom can only be obtained after implantation within a host. Life cycle. The life cycle of a sea slug is dependent on the parasite host relationship. Wow. That's kind of cool to see, actually. Whoa. It's like a baby one or something. Are you retrieval locations of sea slugs. Boy, they were all over that place. They were right there in the deep section between all these. Okay. What else we got? Oh. The greater good. Now, I know there's been some concern about the nature of the work we do here at Fink Manufacturing. Why, some say they're uncomfortable with the purported harm and suffering our research brings. But friends, let me pose a simple question. Is there anything you would not do to guarantee the health and safety of your loved ones? <laughs> My interest is the future health of your children. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. My dad used to say all the time, it's true. 
But yeah, it's it's good as long as it's your not your loved ones that are the ones going through the uh, being used for the experimenting. Doesn't do your children any good if your children were the ones sacrificed for uh, the greater good. Okay, and I know we got one up above me. I wish I remember. I, I wish I would have got to see what it said about frozen enemies, or I mean armored enemies. Well, we're gonna find out the hard way here. Maybe they take more than one hit. <laughs> 